started off as sort of a metaphor for the position of local museums and the positions of various histories of art. So basically we took as a reference um, an article written by Jamila Dagirova um, about with an overview of the whole history of the art of the region, which is quite short. It's from the end of 19th century throughout the whole 20th century. Mm -hmm. And I had a wonderful tightrope walker, Rasul Bakarov, who agreed to participate and shared my idea of doing this work. So he's the one you see in the video behind me. Uh, and uh, essentially the work is 70, 73 minutes and it comprises him walking from one small mountain to another on a tightrope. And uh, he carries across the whole history of art, basically. So it's about, kind of, on one hand, it's about preservation of a certain collection, about a way you collect. These types of museums are also a reflection of what the values were and are and what is considered um, useful art, let's put it that way. But it's also um, about invisible labor of the people who work in the museums like that, of like collection keepers, of curators. Uh, it's also about kind of individual fear of creating things that every artist, I suppose, has, because this is a perspective that I can speak from. Uh, so it's about kind of very simple thoughts of how you're going to be remembered, what's going to be left behind, and how hard it is to go outside and uh, just sort of show your work and expect some sort of judgment or opinion, or question, or perhaps appreciation. So. It's my collection of various noses from Northern Caucasus. Um, so it's, um, they're hand carved from the photos by a wonderful carpenter, Kasbia Kalikov, with whom I worked. Basically, it's a mountain range. That's why the work called Landscape, and it's about um, kind of on one hand, different features uh, that sort of can be attributed to different nationalities by different political systems. And um, on the other hand, it's also kind of based on my native language, uh, Avar, where um, the spelling of the word mountain and nose is uh, completely is, is identical. It's, it's also a contemporary landscape uh, of noses because there are uh, sort of nose jobbed noses, which is super popular in the region because the region is kind of famous for having l quite large um, uh, noses and that's what the play is um, on as well, this categorization based on features that we are all too familiar with, I suppose. It's exactly about different ways that objects end up in uh, collections. I think this was the starting point when I started to think about it. And it actually grew very much out of a discussion, the whole work, with, um, out of a discussion with my friend, Andrei Miziana. We thought a lot about kind of these packaged presentations of artworks, like um, Duchamp's sort of mini representations of the work he did. Um, and we, I, I remember this um, practice in the Soviet Union where works were redistributed from central museums into regional museums. And this is how, for example, this painting, well, it's a copy, it's not a real one, by Viktor Vesnitsov, Gumayun, the Prophetic Bird, ended up in the Dagestani Museum of Fine Art. Uh, so I wanted to carry on with this tradition and make these micro-object humans, marionettes, um, that perhaps serve whoever is in charge, whoever is kind of behind them. So I wanted to do the same sort of embassy that would be sent there. So initially they existed as objects and small box and a text. But later on for next show we kind of did a puppet theater um, with another friend of mine, Alexei Maslev, who created it and then wrote a play. So essentially it's kind of a work about reactivating a museum and um, giving voice to an object with uh, particular strings attached. Uh, and uh, yeah, just um, about possibility of a certain museum's growth and collection and rethinking the collection of that particular museum.